Hello, I'm Purdy Welsh and I'm a veterinary nurse at the Royal Veterinary College. I've worked at the RVC for many years and have had a number of different roles, all of which have been related to my primary qualification as a veterinary nurse. And I'm currently course director for the RVC suite of postgraduate qualifications in advanced veterinary nursing. I'm a lecturer in companion animal behaviour and welfare science here at RVC. A large part of my job is leading a research team exploring questions around the health, behaviour and welfare of dogs, as well as how the public and owners interact with and make decisions about their pets. Hi, my name's Kerry. I graduated from RVC in 2019 with an MSci in Bioveterinary Sciences. My current job is Senior Leadership Officer at the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons. Hi, my name is Nicola menzies gow I am a Professor in Equine Medicine at the Royal Veterinary College. I was inspired to choose veterinary nursing as a career because from a young age I enjoyed being with animals and reading about them. I wanted to work with animals in a caring but also in a very practical and useful capacity and be part of a team working towards a common goal. So veterinary nursing seemed the perfect answer. This job allows me to combine my passion for animal welfare with my interest in science to try and make a difference to the lives of animals across the world. I'm very proud of everything that I've achieved through different adversities. So I take inspiration for myself and I think, well, if I've done this, I can do something else, I can do better. Um, and I think it's a very important thing to, to feel happy with yourself and to, to, to take inspiration and be your own role model. I've mainly worked with cats and dogs, but I've also assisted in anaesthesia and surgery of some pretty unusual animals, including um, a kangaroo with a broken leg, a tiger cub with a nutritional disorder, a tiny pipistrelle bat with a broken wing and um, a spider monkey. I have been to Whipsnade to do a heart scan on a sea lion and also to do endoscopy, so look up the nose with a camera of a rhino and that was a very scary experience because the rhino was just sedated and they get angry very quickly. Even after all these years of working in the profession as, and as a teacher, I'm still learning myself every day, every week. There's always new knowledge and understanding about diseases, treatments and care options. There's alternative ways of carrying out tasks and there's always other people's perspectives on situations. So my advice for someone wanting a career in uh, science or in the veterinary profession is don't be too fixed on your career path. My career has followed lots of different directions and I am in a very different place than I thought I was going to be uh, when I was at vet school. So. Don't be surprised if it doesn't follow the route that you think it should take. Uh, it's often better than you imagined that it might be. My advice to anyone thinking about a career in veterinary nursing would be that it's a great idea to organise some work experience at a vet practice or even a couple of different practices so that you get a really good idea if this is the career that you really want to do. If somebody tells you that you can't do something, that you're not good enough or that you know, you're not there, you shouldn't, do it anyway. and show them that they were wrong about you. Um, take your own inspiration from yourself and be confident in your own abilities. Smile through it and keep going. It's sometimes, some days can be difficult, but if you take inspiration from yourself, be your own model and compare yourself to yourself, not other people, you'll get there.